morning students today we will learn about subtraction so what is subtraction subtraction is taking away one number from the other number let us take the same example like uh, of chocolates last time i have given you now you are having 100 chocolates and you gave 50 chocolates to your mother how many chocolates are left with you 50 it means we are taking away a number or taking away that much of chocolate from you we are deducting something now we will learn about subtraction without carry with carry subtracting with zero and many more subtraction of four digit numbers without sorry without borrow it's not carry it's borrow we are not going to borrow anything here so the first number is you have to subtract or deduct 3252 from 9667 so first of all you will arrange it in column like this and again always remember that you will start subtraction from one side it means your right hand side we will start subtraction from one side so we have arranged it now starting from one side we have to subtract 2 from 7 so uh, when we deduct 2 from 7 the result is 5 5 from 6 result is 1 and 2 from 6 4 3 from 5 6 so this is the answer after subtracting it and this is the result that you get after subtraction is known as difference the result that you get after addition is known as sum but here the result that you get after subtraction is known as difference and in subtraction always remember that the greater number is on the top you can't write 3252 on the top the greater number is on the top now let us move on to subtracting with borrow we have to borrow from the other Again, we will first of all arrange it in columns. The greater number will be on the top. The smaller one will be below it. Now, subtracting these two numbers, you have to subtract two thousand one hundred seventy-three from seven thousand two hundred sixty-four. So here it's all right. Three when we subtract three from four, the result is one. Now we cannot deduct seven from six. So let us take it as a story. The six goes to two and ask one from it. When one is given, it becomes sixteen. Okay. When one is, uh, when six borrows one from two, it becomes sixteen. Now we will subtract sixteen, uh, seven from sixteen, and the result that you get is nine. Now this number, since two gave one. To six, it become one. Now we will deduct one and one. So one when we subtract from one, it is zero. Two subtract it from seven, it is five. So here we need to borrow. If the number that uh, means the number from which you have to subtract is smaller, then you have to borrow from the other number. Here also, in addition or subtraction, you always have to start from one's place. So the answer is five thousand and ninety-one. Now let us move on to subtracting across zero. Means when you have to subtract a number from zero, like seventy. When you subtract seventy from hundred, it will be. Hundred. When you subtract seventy from it, zero minus zero it is zero. And here this zero, you cannot deduct seven from zero. So it will borrow from this number. Now it becomes ten. Ten minus seven it is thirty. So when you subtract seventy from hundred, it is thirty. Let us take another number. If you are asked to subtract two 
10 here. So 10 minus 4 is 6. Now since 1 is given there, so it becomes 9. And you have to subtract 3 from 9, not from 10. When you borrow something, when you give away something, always remember this, what is left there. So 9 minus 3 is 6. Here, 9 minus 1. It also, it, uh, this zero also gave 1 to uh, this zero. So 9 minus 1 is 8. And here, it becomes 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. So the result is 2,866. It is not necessary that you show all these things. You can keep this borrowing thing in your mind and always keep it in your mind that what number is left there. Suppose if you give one to the other one, always remember that you have to deduct one from there. You cannot, you gave one to this number and if you want to subtract one from ten, you will get a wrong answer. So be careful while you subtracting the questions which is having borrow. Now let us see that the subtraction that we have done is correct or not and how to check that one. We need to check that the solution that we have done is right or wrong. And for that what we need to do? Add the difference to the smaller number. When you add the difference, add the result to the smaller number and if you get the greater number your solution is absolutely right. So let us take an example. Suppose if I ask you to subtract uh, um, 100 minus 70. So when you subtract 70 from 100, you will get 30. And it is telling that add the difference, this number, to the smaller number. It means you are going to add 30 plus 70, you should get the greater number, it is 100 here. So, if you get this number, when you add these two numbers, smaller number and the difference and you get the greater number, then your solution is absolutely right. Let us take another example. Let us subtract uh, 7624, then 4, 2, 1, 4212. When we subtract these two numbers, we will start subtracting from one side. To deduct that from uh, 4, you will get 2, then uh, 2 minus 1, 1, 6 minus 2, 4, and 4, uh, 7 minus 4, 3. Now, this is the result we got. This is the difference. And if we have to check that whether the solution that we have done is right or wrong. So, let us do the, uh, let us check. It is 3412 and the smaller number is 4212. Let us add it. 2 plus 2, 4. 1 plus 1, 2. 4 plus 2, 6. And 3 plus 4, 7. So here also 7624 and 7624. We have got both means this number and this number is equal. It means our solution is absolutely right. So if you are asked that find the difference and check whether your solution is right or wrong, you can check it in this way. I'll explain you a few more things in the next video. I hope till here it is clear.